Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design this custom list using HTML and CSS. So here we can see we also have this hover effect. So when you hover over these lists, we have this different background color for the numbers. So all these uh, numbers will be automatically generated. And also this uh, line over here will be generated automatically based on the content of the list. So we're going to see how to design this in this video. Let's get started. All right, here I have created this folder called list and I just opened it with VS code. Now let's go ahead and create the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create an HTML file. I just name it index.html and we'll also create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css and let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. All right, let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab and the SR file just type style or CSS. All right now, let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division and let's give it a class of list container. And in this list, we need to have all these uh, list items. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an ordered list for this. So let's type OL and in that we will have list items and the list items we can add the content. So if I just copy this from here and if I paste it over here and if I just open this in our browser, so I have this extension called live server installed in VS code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see our content is being displayed and we also have the number one displayed over here. Now if we add more list items over here, so if I just copy this and paste it down here and now we can see that 2 is displayed over here so all the numbers are generated automatically so I'll just quickly go ahead and add all this content all right so here I have copied all the content inside the ordered list and we also have this image and I'm just adding a source of an online image over here from pixels so now let's go back to our browser and uh, let's see how it looks this is how it looks we can see that we have all the content displayed over here now let's go ahead and style this using CSS. So let's go back to our code. And here we have linked our CSS file. So let's go to the style or CSS file. And the first thing we will do is we will style this OL inside the list container. And we will add a max width. So let's type list container OL. And let's set a max width. And let's set it to 600 pixels. And let's also set the font family to Roboto. Now let's go back to the browser and here we can see we have the max width but we don't have the max width for the image so let's do that let's type list container img and uh, let's set the width to 100 percent let's also add rounded corners so just a border radius and let's set it to 8 pixels and here we can see we have the image we'll also add some margin to the top and the bottom of the image so i'll just type margin 20 pixels top and bottom and zero for left and right all right, now let's bring this content to the center. So here for the OL, let's type margin. And for top and bottom, I'll just type 32 pixels. And for left and right, I'll just type auto. And now we can see it is in the center. All right, let's also add some line height to this text. So I'll just type line height. And let's set the line height to 1.8. And uh, I think that looks all right. Now let's go ahead and uh, style the list items inside the OL. So let's type list container li and for that let's add a margin of 20 pixels top and bottom and a zero for left and right and now we can see we have this margin between these list items. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to add this type of styling for the numbers. Now here we can see we just have this simple styling. Now for adding this type of styling to the numbers we need to remove these numbers from here and we need to add our own numbers. So let's go back and uh, let's type list style and uh, let's set it to none. And now we can see that the numbers have disappeared. And now let's add the numbers inside a before selector. So let's go back and uh, here let's type list container li colon colon before. Now using before selector, you can add content to the elements. So if I just type content and if I just type one, two, three. And if you go back here, we can see that one, two, three is displayed before all the list items. 
So in this way, we can add extra content to our elements. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the numbers instead of this same number. So let's go back. And to add the numbers, we're going to use CSS counters. Now to add CSS counters, you can just type counter. And here you can add the name of the counter. And we'll create a counter called list counter. Now let's go ahead and reset the counter at this OL. So here you have to type counter reset. And here we need to add the name of the counter. So let's type list counter. And now here we have to increment the counter. So let's type counter increment. And you have to set it to the counter name. So let's type list counter. And now if you go back to our website, here we can see that one, two, three, four, five is displayed over here and the counter is working all right. So now we have this counter as a separate before element and we can go ahead and style it in any way we want. So the first thing we will do is we will position this counter relative to the list item. So here for the list item, let's type position relative. And uh, here we will also set the margin to 20 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And now for the before element, which is the counter, let's type position and let's set it to absolute. And now you need to add the top and the left positions. So let's type top and let's set it to zero. And for the left, let's type minus 50 pixels. And now we can see that these numbers are displayed over here. And now let's go ahead and add this border around these uh, numbers. So here let's type border and let's set it to two pixels solid. And for the color, let's type E7-2C-2C. And now we can see we have these borders, but we need to have a circle. So for that, let's type border radius and we need to type 50%. And now we can see we don't have a perfect circle. So for that you have to type width and let's set it to a fixed value. Let's type 28 pixels and let's set the height to 28 pixels as well. Right now, if you go back to our website, here we can see we have this perfect circle. Now we need to bring these uh, numbers to the center of the circle. So for that you have to type display of flex, align items to the center and justify content to the center. And now we can see that the numbers are aligned perfectly in the circle. Let's also set the font weight to bold. And by default, we will have the background color set to white. And when we hover over this, we will change the background color. Right now, let's go ahead and write the code for the hover. So for that, you have to type list container, li colon hover, colon colon before. And here we need to type background. And let's set the background color to this uh, red color right here. And we'll also have smooth animation. So here let's type transition. And I'll just set it to all 200 milliseconds ease. And now we can see when we hover over this, we have this background color. We'll also change the color of the text. So let's tap color and let's set it to white. And now we can see everything looks all right. So whenever we hover over these uh, list items, we have the hover effect. Right now, the last thing we need to do is we need to add a line over here between these circles. So if you go to the original design, here we can see we have these lines over here. Now for that, we will use the after selector. So let's go back and here let's type list container, li colon colon after. And here also we can add content. And for example, if I just type one, two, three, here we can see after all these uh, list items, we have one, two, three displayed. So here we can see we have one, two, three, one, two, three displayed over here. Now what we will basically do is we'll just remove this one, two, three from here and we'll just add a line over here on the left side instead of this uh, text. So let's go back and let's remove one, two, three from here and let's set the position to absolute. And uh, let's set the left position to let's try minus 30 pixels. And let's set the top position to let's try 40 pixels and we'll also add a height of 100% and let's set the width to one pixel and we'll also add a background color of black and now we can see we have these lines but we need to fix the positions i just tried different values and i just came up with minus 34 and 42 pixels over here and now we can see that the line is exactly in the center now if you go to the original design, here we can see the line doesn't touch the second circle. 
but here we can see that the line touches the second circle so we need to decrease the height a little bit so here I just type calc and we'll just type 100% minus and we will add a value over here so I just type 30 pixels and now we can see that we have the correct height for these lines let's scroll down and for the last element we have a lot more height so here we can see for the last element we have the correct height so we need to add a different height for the last element so further let's go back and here let's type list container li colon last child colon colon after so this will select the after element of the last child and here let's set the height to calc 100% minus and here let's try 50 pixels and now let's go back and now we can see we have the correct height for the last element as well so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can design this custom list using HTML and CSS for your website now here you can add any content you want you can add videos you can add images and buttons and all of those things and all these numbers and lines will be adjusted according to the content all right so that's basically it for this video I will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,